Malagasy joins us live to talk about his new series on Amazon. Good morning. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Ken. Thank you for having me. Oh, you said my pleasure. name. He just said our yes. name. We're done. <laughs> Emerald just said our names. We can go home now. Um, okay, so obviously, uh, Julia Child and the Galloping Gourmet, they probably created this whole TV chef thing, but you, sir, you revolutionized it when you came on through. And now, what's this brand new endeavor you're going to embark on? Well, uh, it is. It's Eat the World with Emma Lagasse, exclusively on Amazon, premiering uh, September 2nd, and you can stream it. Um, this adventure is, is really quite, quite unique for me because for over 30 years, my cooking has been really about understanding culture, understanding the people, which then equates of understanding the food. And with Eat the World, we do just that. We go to Spain, always with a colleague. So in Spain, it's Jose Andreas, and we end up uh, in his hometown in northern Spain, ending up in Barcelona with Ferran Adrian, China with Mario Batali, South Korea with Danny Bowen and, and Shep Gordon. Uh, we end up leaving Seoul, Korea, South Korea, and taking a bullet train to a Buddhist temple to meet this Buddhist nun by the name of Jean Kwan, who's considered to be one of the world's greatest vegetarian cooks. Uh, we go to Cuba with Arun Sanchez, Sweden with Marcus Samuelson, Italy with Nancy Silverton. Uh, it is just delicious. What do you think is the one thing you learned or you took away from this whole experience? Well, you know, Melissa, it, it's so many things. Like in, in Shanghai, to understand the Shanghai uh, soup dumpling, uh, we followed the Shanghai soup dumpling index, believe it or not, that was written by two Americans, of all things. But to understand the noodle and to understand the wall and the filling and, and, and we went to the traditional places, the modern places, we went all over the place to learn and to bring to the lens to people at home about soup dumplings. So learning about that was an, an incredible experience. To go to Italy with Nancy Silverton, her mission was she wanted me to meet the man who she thinks is the best and the world's best pizza maker, Franco Pepe. So we're on a mission. And what we realize is the ingredients is really what makes Franco's pizza so special. Oh. So we go to check those out. Yeah, the buffalo mozzarella, the anchovies, the olive oil. Um, Cuba with Arun Sanchez. You know, it's such an interesting place because they're sort of locked in time. They're locked in the 50s. And they, they were cut off uh, by the Soviet Union. They, they were abandoned by us and, 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 and locked out and basically had to figure out how to do it on their own. And it's yet a poor country, yet it's so rich in that they have figured it out. Urban gardens and paladas and wow. et cetera, et cetera. Just an amazing, amazing experience. And that's what I want to bring home to the people. Eat the world with Emma Lagasse. I All right, love really it. quick question. You are known as kind of the spice king. We're running out of time. What spice do you think is good for parents, but maybe that the kids will also eat too? Hmm. Well, uh, spice, I think you said spice, right? Yes, yes. spice. Yes. You know, Anything is good in moderation. Uh, I, I have the BAM stuff, which I think, you know, I, I use just about on, I, I use just about on everything except for ice cream. But, uh, um, you know, do things in moderation. Okay. Salt and pepper is the simplest, best things. Try that to start with. I okay, can we, get, can, can we get another little BAM, please? There it is. <laughs> Eat the world with Emerald Lagasse, right, exclusively on Emerald. Amazon uh, Prime Video. It starts on September the 2nd. It's like a six part mini series. Thank you so much, sir. A pleasure to have you today and enjoy yourself. Thanks so much, Ken and Melissa. Have a great day. He said our name again. I know. Winning. Don't leave me hanging. Oh, no. Never leave you hanging, Claire. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Emerald.